Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoy the preview. Primary injection testing is the optimum standard for testing the performance and integrity of circuit breakers. Shown in this image is the ETI PI6000 primary circuit breaker test set. Let's start with a definition. A primary injection test set injects program multiples of the rated fault current of the breaker through the breaker while measuring the trip time. Primary injection testing should be in accordance with NEMA AB4-2017 guidelines for inspection and preventive maintenance of boulder case breakers used in commercial and industrial applications. There are four tests that need to be performed. Let's look at these tests and illustrate where they exist on a breaker trip curve. First is the long time delay and pickup. This is represented by the blue line seen here. This provides protection for overload conditions. The test current is injected in each pole and the trip time is recorded. Next is a short time delay and pickup, represented by the red line on the curve. This is an intentional preset delay to provide coordination with other protective devices. The test current is usually 1.5 to 2.5 times the short time pickup and is injected in each pole of the breaker and the trip times are recorded. Typically, the results are in milliseconds. This is followed by an instantaneous pickup represented by the yellow line on the curve. This provides short circuit protection. In this test, current pulses are injected in each pole and then steadily incremented. The value of the pickup is recorded. The last test is ground fault delay and pickup. This is the green line on the curve. These are usually low current. Current is injected and the trip time is recorded. The results of all these tests are compared with the manufacturer's published trip curves to determine if the breaker is operating within the specified limits. Many manufacturers of primary injection test kits include most manufacturers' trip curves in the software. We'll examine the test set in more detail on the next illustration. The heart of the set consists of a microprocessor core unit. It is connected to a motherboard which contains a regulated power supply and some support circuitry. Software contained in the microprocessor performs the required real-time data collection, measurement, user interface, and output control functions. Let's take a look at the front panel of the control board to help familiarize us with some of the functions. Two LED displays are noticeable right from the start. The one on the left is a time display. It indicates the elapsed time at the current pulse. The touch keys below set up the display readout. To the right is the current display. This displays the true RMS output current of the test set. It can also be put into memory mode to display prior readings. The touch keys below set up the range of the display. Here you'll find the initiate key to start the test. Below that is the stop button and right below that is the pause button. A serial port is located here for connection to a computer. The lower control panel houses the input voltage display. Control power on and off illuminated buttons are here. The main power switch and ready indicating light are positioned here. Output power on light is right here. The output transformer supplies the bus on the test set, which can be set at 208, 240, and 480 volts, and is capable of generating currents up to 6,000 amps. The output power is available on the bus tabs located on the side of the test set. It is important to note that the test cables need to be sized for the proper current of the device being tested. This image shows a molded case breaker connected during a test. A video of this test will follow on the next visual. The set can also be used on insulated case breakers and low voltage power breakers. Hi, we hope you enjoyed the sample video of our online e-learning module. 
This clip is from one of our many available modules. We are always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Low voltage motor control, molded case circuit breakers, insulated case circuit breakers, low voltage power breakers, medium voltage switchgear, medium voltage control, motor control centers, transformers, contactors, operators devices, protective relays, and lastly variable frequency drives. Outlines, pricing, previews, and requests for information are available at tsnc.com slash e-learning. Let our training to go programs train your people while you run your business.